we're here at the uh, the liquor barn we used to go to all the time when we first started doing videos. Uh, this is before uh, this is before Total Wine. This is before Party Source. This is the very very beginning. Uh, they used to have growler fills here, but they don't anymore. Uh, and instead, we go across the street to the gas station that is behind me, and they have the five dollar growler fills. And sometimes if you bring a, a larger than average growler, they'll still fill it for $5. Because they don't know what growlers are. Yeah, they, they don't know what growlers are. It's a normal thing. It's fine. Uh, I'm down for paying $5 for a large growler. But so, anyways, let's go inside. Let's see if we can get kicked out, shall we? <laughs> here lately to uh, do more tequila. And so I'm going to look at the tequila over here. They actually have a, a couple shelves of tequila for us to look at. We have a request to do what we're doing right now too. Say what? We had a request to do this a lot more. Like more stores? Yeah. yeah. Watch out for the wild parts. This used to be the place like to the, go. Get a $300 bourbon barrel? Yeah, you can get them for like 80 bucks from the distiller. I saw something that I, that I really liked, and this is really cool, but better than this, they have blank ones. You can get Kentucky Brew Review written on it. The only downside is it's $120. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. So here's an end cap of special stuff. Let's check that out. Got some wine. Smile. Ooh, that, whatever that is. Actually, this is really good wine. I, I enjoy it. Let's get that. Oh wait, no, that's not what that is. Two seventy nine dollars. What? It's got a face. I like that it's got a face. Uh, uh, they, have that the silver, they have the silver version of this also. Uh, we need to do private select, maker's private select at some point. Yeah. As soon as uh, somebody buys this bottle. I'm prepared. <laughs> Alright, to the bourbon. Stupidly good. But it's a hundred dollars a bottle. <laughs> Let's get three of them. Oh, oh, they got blackened. Why is it $52? Uh, because I mean, it is brand new. It's 40 everywhere else. I mean, I know it's 40 at total wine. Why is it $52 here? Jesus. Angel's Envy, that's good stuff. Is that a rye? Know. They have a rye now? Oh, finished in Caribbean rum casts. That's interesting. That's interesting, yeah. This is the more crafty bourbon at the top here. Some of these I've never heard of. Yeah, well, there. I mean, there's a ton of new distillers that are on the market right Which is now. interesting because it takes like 8 to 12 years to make bourbon. I mean, so. That blackened over there is only aged for uh, two years, isn't it? Uh, I think so. 18 months, something like that? Well, it's aged, uh, it's mixed, it's a, it's a blended. Mm. <clears throat> If I didn't already spend $80 in case today, you I would... need some cigars, you know, with your bourbon. That's yeah, that's, that's product placement right there. Twenty-five dollars. We also need that. Uh, I can deal with that. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Not that price. What is that little? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's yeah, the single bottle. Bar no, this is bottle specifically barrels. for liquor barn. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of the single barrels. They have these in um, toddies as well. If the store buys a big enough batch, they make uh, they make placards specifically for their liquor store. Eighty two dollar rabbit hole. Are, are we in the and way? Rabbit oh. hole. I just. Of the, course, of course. Expensive. They now have this, even though I came here two days ago <laughs> and they didn't have it, and I paid two dollars more where I got it from. Let's see, you gotta have the bullet bourbon. That is an obscenely large bottle of bullet. What? That's that's just a large caliber. That's just a large caliber bullet. It's. Look at the size of this thing. Not that's bad. at least that's at least a fortnight. It's not that here. bad for uh, that big of a bottle. That's kind of high for regular four roses. It's like fourteen in total on. Yeah, it's like a weird a weird mix of really good and really kind of average prices here. They're supposed to price match, from what I hear. Oh really? Yeah, I don't know well, if it's they'll go off their website or they have to do it. because most yeah. places the price match have a print ad thing, huh? Pre-made hot toddy. I'm, I'm good. 
I'd rather just make my own. Remade hot toddy, I could do that. Some gin. Can't go wrong with Tangray or Bombay. Haven't had green owls. Haven't had that one. But, but I feel like it's gonna taste like like pine trees. Oh, you know that's good. Six forty nine. Oh yeah. Mmm. It's good stuff right there. What's that? Is Knightley's that? gin. It it looks like a this is the this is the kind of bottle of gin that uh, that I gravitate towards. I like the shape. I like the label. Very simple. The only downside is it's twenty five dollars. We have a, a special Kentucky edition of the Smirnoff. <clears throat> hey, there you go. Cool. I'm sure, we look like crazy people right now. Mm, probably. Hey, what is, is this? What is this? Is this already on the shelf? Smirnoff ninety, so it's forty five percent. That's interesting. Why is why is this on the shelf already? It was here. Uh, they've had this from last Christmas. Oh, so, why? so it, it's like the same bottles as the Cannon Cranon Blast and all that other stuff. Cranon Blast. Yeah. So I'm interested um, to try something like those. Those yeah. are interesting. I don't know about rose. Rose flavored stuff tastes like old ladies. I mean, so you need to know how you know what old ladies taste like. Have you ever been in an old lady's house? Um, I don't think that those two are, things are, I don't think those two things go together. Uh, I've never been huge on the Smirnoff flavors. I think there are better flavored stuff out there. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the, uh, the... Well, it's not necessarily that there are things that are, that are flavored better. It's that there are things that are way cheaper for the same flavor. All right, let's go on to this other side over here. Check out this higher... Oh, that's new. Oh, Clarence, we'll come back. I like the clearance aisle. Yeah, but the price shelf. is, that's, I know for a fact that that's been on the clearance shelf since we started doing YouTube. Oh yeah, no, those have been there forever. Yeah, so it's been five years. Oh man, let's get some gold strike. You know, this Rogue, uh, this Rogue rum has been the, been here forever also. Yeah, that's been here almost as long. Yeah, they have an entire case of it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, <laughs> it was that price. Um, that long ago or whatever. They need to drop that down to like eight they bucks. They should. want to sell it. They probably should make it a little bit cheaper. Or vodka. That's new. What's that? Oh, R a rose vodka. I love 99. Because you got to have vodka that looks like wine. Is it 35%? Let's see. Yeah, 30% alcohol. Sorry, you guys. Focus. 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 Could pull an ADU. Uh, there's our friend Nikola right there. Nah. Wait, is that it? Six nine. I thought that was a six ninety nine one point seven five. I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh no. This is a box vodka. <laughs> that is that is a this vodka. Is a boxed vodka. It <laughs> is a box of vodka. How many? It's uh, three and a half. Um, three and a half liters. Oh god. Of vodka. That's how. That's how you end up dead. Oh, there's our favorite. One of our favorites, Copper Creek. It's the good quality stuff. Copper Creek. Mm -hmm. Ditto Tito's. We haven't done hammer mill. Oh, is, is that $12.99? That's not too bad. Wait, why is it why is it eleven ninety nine behind the tag? What? What? <laughs> what? It's on sale for a dollar more. <laughs> Everybody says Deep Eddies is pretty good. I think they're owned by Heaven Hill. Oh man. Okay, I went and got a cart. Do you you really want to get flavored taka? I do. Um, it's six dollars. It's gonna yeah, be used. Yeah, that's true. Why? Wow. Okay, grape. Yes. Yes, and grape. I've never seen a grape vodka. Cherry, so. and we'll also get. This is also cherry. Why are Wait they? Wait a minute. That's. They're Those two are different colors. It's the same amount of alcohol. Get the one that's less disturbing the, looking. The, the less. I don't know if, if you mean darker or lighter. Darker. <laughs> Well, is that the darker one? Okay, so if this is, yes, this is the darker one. If this is red, then why isn't this purple? That's a good question. Why isn't the cake colored like a weird creamy color? <laughs> why is the fruit, it looks like they had one color dye because the fruit punch is the exact same color. That's interesting. Okay, I, I don't want to get more than two bottles of taka. No, I, I, two I, bottles of taka is my absolute it. limit. Oh, we, we got to keep going. We haven't finished down here. Absolute Mandarin. I really like to... That is not what that is. That is not supposed to be there. Weird little ball cocktail thing. Cocktail caviar. You gotta have the, the cocktail. Oh my god. 
It's little, it's Salmon little, eggs. It's little balls. See, I, I keep people keep saying this is good vodka. I can't bring myself to pay twenty dollars for a bottle of vodka. I mean, I can, and I have. But I mean, Finlandia. What else would I do? Finlandia, is about as much as I want to pay. Here's uh, we did an interview with their master distiller not too long ago in oh, Jeff yeah? the Creed. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, we're gonna skip the wine section because you know this isn't Kentucky wine reviews. I mean, we could do wine. I, I'm I'm down to drink wine. Ice Fox. Let's Why go to is the. Why this a thing? Look at that. Is that bacon? That's bacon flavor. <laughs> it doesn't have a price tag on it, so That's I'm sure it's bacon obscenely... flavored vodka. All right, let's go to the liqueur. We're in the liqueur section. Everybody likes that banana life. Huh. Some Copper Kings. <laughs> Copper Kings. Um, Look, I absent. just want to point out that the Fireball is in this section and not with the whiskey. Because it's not. Because it's not whiskey. Really whiskey. It's not actually uh -oh. whiskey. The rum chata has some sort oh, of what? weird it's got a football condom on, on it. Oh, what? I'm going to go with football condom. Football condom? Oh, no. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about that price. Hmm. Hmm. It's got a, uh, it's got a little bit of a jacket on. See, sometime we got to try these other, like, rum chata knockoffs. What are we getting for uh, uh, strawberry, ooh. probably? Uh, you know what? I'm thinking... I couldn't find cactus juice. I looked everywhere for it. Cactus juice is really good. That's really unfortunate. Um, I'm thinking grape. I already have a... a Do you have grape I have already? slow gin at home. Oh, it's okay. the same thing, pretty much. Hey, the cart's trying to escape. I have that. I paid $4 for it. Oh. Yeah. Or you can get six ninety nine Benchmark Eggnog. Mmm. That's uh, nah, be all right. We'll sure. have to refrigerate that when we, when we open it, won't we? Isn't that how eggnog works? Fifteen percent. Mm -hmm. We've reviewed it before. Oh, uh, yeah, get it. Go ahead. I mean, six ninety nine, man. Let's get us a thing of alcoholic eggnog. It doesn't say refrigerate after opening on it. I think we should still refrigerate it after opening it. Probably, but that would be an easy <laughs> uh, easy shooter. What do we got over here? I think this is all their mixer stuff, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Look at that. My mother-in-law was just asking about those. She said she couldn't find them. Oh. They're exceptionally expensive. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. $15 for four pack? Yeah, I mean, you can't beat uh, six ninety nine for a... Why is there more cocktail caviar? What is this? I just want to point out to the, the world that there's a entire pear inside of this bottle. Is it... No? How does this work? Just think about all the alcohol that it's displacing in there so they can sell less alcohol. That is it. very true. But I, there's no seam on the bottom or the top, so I'm kind of... They grow it inside. There's no the way. They grow an entire grove of, of pears inside yes. the bottles. They put the, the uh, bloom or whatever, stick the bottle on there and let it grow inside. That's the most extra BS I've ever heard of. I don't, I'm, I'm making life. that up. I don't even know. <laughs> what is this? Plum brandy? Plum. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> that is that is packaging right there. That's how it that should is. be done. Is that we haven't had that one yet? Languinitas. Hazy memory. Hazy memory. Uh, it's like the memory of all Languinitas I've ever had. There is enjoy by. Mm hmm. Hey, look, some more of this stuff that's not flavored or carbonated. Or carbonated. It's just basically unflavored grain alcohol. I like it, I like it. <laughs> they do have a single section here as well. Yeah. This is like local right there. Yeah, little four packs of... Here's the German section. Yeah, it's a very abbreviated German section. They have a pretty decent German selection. It's not like great, but... Yeah. It's not, it's not terrible. We need to go to the Hofbrau House. That's what we need to do. Yeah, we do. Why haven't we been there yet? Uh, there's a place in video. Paducah. There's a place in Paducah that's really good, too. We should go there. Well, also, uh, Hofbrau is, like, it's by the party source. So, like, we should be planning that trip. Oh, that's new. This is new. What do you got? Unfiltered. Unfiltered, huh? Unfiltered uh, crisp apple. Let me see. Focus. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's definitely not filtered. My goodness. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, disturbing. price isn't bad on that too. Looks like Angry Orchards went down a lot. Eight ninety nine is pretty good for a six pack. That's not so, bad at all. I wonder if they have a single of that. Let's look oh, at the uh, Euro loggers. The Euro loggers. And then the singles. Laggers. Oh, that's a cool little uh, Modelo thing. Wow, that's, that's new. I'd put that in my man cave. I would. If I had a man cave, I'd be all, I'd be all about it. <clears throat> Here's our Euro logger stuff. Samuel Smith's Nut Brown. Well, I know how Radar loves nut. I'm trying to pull a bottle out of there, but it's got like two boxes inside. That's the Troopa. Yeah, yeah. Why is Woodchuck right there? Doesn't, doesn't I don't, need to I be don't there. know, man. Because it's probably because it's just the larger bottle. It's like their bomber section. There's like this. There's no. There, oh, here, here we go. There's there's no name on this bottle. It's just a bottle with a label on it. And then you turn it, and you can see the the actual name. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know if I could bring myself to pay that much for mm, beer. I mean, where were I to win the lottery? It'd probably help if I actually played the lottery. What is this thing? To the macro section. To the macro section. The macro. Oh, here's a more local. This is all a local end cap. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm just saying. I'm getting it. I'm getting a six pack of this. I bought one for review, but I didn't buy a six pack. Eight ninety nine is not bad though. I'm gonna get a six pack of it. Uh, Mingo says it's delicious. The uh, nat natter. Natty like seltzers that were way better than I thought they were. Uh, that's a little expensive. I've seen them for like eleven ninety nine most places. There's a platinum display. That's interesting. We got one platinum. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> It's just your macro does stuff. Back, does it bring back bad memories for uh, you? Corona Familiar, <laughs> Modelo Victoria, Tecate. Hey, is that? No, it's the regular Tecate. It's just the new can. Oh, yeah, okay. Retro. Yeah, oh, never mind. The retro Tecate, can. Right? Uh, so, Landshark, which is terrible. <laughs> Everybody keeps asking us to review the new... Uh, have, we, have we done Yingling Black and Tan? Yes. Everybody keeps asking us to review this. We actually reviewed it five years ago because apparently they relaunched the, the brand for this specific beer. Oh, really? Yeah, and they're like, oh, hey, it looks new. And I'm like, but it's not new. It's been out for like 10 years. <laughs> We're really pushing that platinum. They really are. Jeez. That's an interesting pack. What is that? 8 plus 10. Wait, what? Eight equals ten plus. Oh no! Oh, it's sixteen ounce. Oh, okay, yeah. The, oh, I got you. I was like, what are they doing? Uh, they're, they're doing some Budweiser math on there. Oh look, they're putting their filler on there. Mm. That's filler. Doesn't make you special, but Bud Light. I mean, it kind of does. No, not there's not a whole lot of places that put rice in their beer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm they thinking, are. I'm thinking like uh, uh, some of the uh, what's what's that? Kieran. Kieran is a rice-based beer. Oh, gotta get the Huddy Delight. Stroh's, uh, oh, Milwaukee. This is all the non-alcoholic stuff. Yeah. You know, one of these days, we're gonna do a head-to-head, -head, and I'm gonna sneak a non-alcoholic beer reduced in. Reduced calorie huh. non-alcoholic beer. All right, here's the big daddies. You know, before we leave, we should really go through the, through the refrigerator. We will. There's the uh, bane of our existence. Huh. They have all three flavors. Hey. All three. They have the light. In case you want to die thrice. Yeah, if you want to get poisoned, that's perfect <laughs> beer for it. This is, this is what we need right here. Just a bucket of shots. Well, Fireball is unnecessarily popular <laughs> in Kentucky for some reason. To the refrigerator. Into the refrigerator. Ah. <sighs> Wine and stuff down on there. More Tecate. This is like your brown paper bag special section. Oh, yeah. 
gonna have a brown paper bag special section. They don't really have. Randomly, a twenty-two dollar bopper. You know, it's right cider. Next to, yeah. Right next to the natural right, we, ice. Yeah, it's. Don't you? Can't you tell they're the same? <laughs> okay, is it just me or is Guinness kind of going away from the uh, from the cans? Yeah. And they've got a bunch more bottles now. They do. I can't find cans anywhere anymore. Except when I can. Oh yeah, I got that milk stout life. Oh, Left yeah. hands, good there stuff. You, go. you know, you get your Goose Island uh, uh, suntan lotion. It probably That's always good. Probably actually tastes like that. Salute the sun. I think I picked one of these up. I think I picked one of those up. Red number eight. Not that they could probably right hear us so super loud here. Yeah. Well, we're right next to the. Right next to the fans right now. Yeah, their 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 keg selection's not that great. They mostly just have They mostly just do orders now. They don't really keep kegs. This is well. this pathetic little thing is the only mixes we get here. <laughs> Unfortunately we can't get forties. Yeah, it looks like all they have is uh and, hey, white girl wasted stuff is down here. Bud Light and Michelob Ultra are their two choices. Yeah, and I think most of those have got names on them already, don't they? No, some of them don't. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fair. Uh, I thought a third of them have names on 